Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. It's Friday, 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 TGIF, everybody. It's uh, January 24th. We got no economic news releases, uh, but next week, be prepared. We do got the FOMC. It will be Bernanke's last uh, FOMC as we uh, pass on the torch to uh, Miss Yellen, uh, who will be the, um, the next Fed, Fed head. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look over at the headline news today. And the stock market is down again. So and it's all because of the concerns over the week China data we saw yesterday so uh, as a result basically there's a global sell-off going on right now now a lot of people or investors are, are wondering if this might be the potential for a uh, the correction we've been kind of waiting for quite some time here as this has been a very long run uh, upwards and uh, it's been a very much a uh, bull market for a while on the equities market so we're now it's kind of wondering is this uh, time to be a uh, time for the correction uh, to happen here so if that is uh, the case then obviously we'll benefit on the bond market so let's go ahead and take a look at the bond market and we're up again so we're up from yesterday at, um, 1109 so we're up about 56 basis points from where we left off so that's about a half a point improvement in the pricing for interest rates uh, from yesterday's pricing so uh, great numbers right there we're seeing obviously some improvement uh, let's kind of see how this plays out uh, again next week this could be over reaction it could correct itself next week but be very cautious uh, as we go forward uh, you could kind of float and do short term but you know long term or you can if you go long term you know we could go up there but I do think at some point we'll reach the mid 101 level at least 101 30 to 101 uh, 60 range we might be in that range uh, at some point uh, for how long it's hard to say but that would be our gross up from the correction we already had uh, to work our way back up it'll be about 50 percent uh, improvement uh, from where we left off earlier uh, a few months ago all right folks uh, so nice improvement in the interest rates today i uh, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on monday we'll keep this short and sweet as again we have no economic news releases uh there were some earnings reports that are some positive out there but because there's more of a global sell-off uh on the emerging markets as well as you know the data that was pulled from china yesterday there's still concerns as to you know how the being the second largest how this going to react on, on the overall uh, global scheme of things so we'll take a look at this on Monday. You guys have a wonderful day. And again, we'll see you guys. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you guys on Monday.